Hi guys, hello, hello, good morning. Welcome back to DOV here. Uh, I'm not dead, I'm still alive here, but I was quite busy uh, in my other channels, so that's why I was not able to record. Anyway, never mind. Um, so now the season is quite changing. Early in the early in the morning, it's become like too cold here, and I feel like shivering inside just because uh, I have this thick coat. What do I say? Thick blankets to cover my body, but this is not enough, and I have to take out my sleeping bag today, which is underneath in my camper. So I have like. So this is my bed section here, okay? And this is the underneath here. I have, look at that camera stain. And right there is a sack and there is my sleeping bag. Here is my soybean. This is my uh, dishwashing soap. Uh, that's my dish here. That's, uh, I prepared my dal. This is my pots. This is my onion. This is my water gallon with content of 20 liters of water this is all plastic where i have a uh, chopping knife i have uh, i guess i have a turmeric here oh this is different thing turmeric is here i got to place this in a proper position this and uh, this is a dal here and these are my some of clothes <laughs> right here a waste of a good morning never makes a day good, but a positive attitude does and always. <laughs> oh, never mind. So here's my some eggs. These are my shoes. This is my sneaker. This is my shoe for the demonstration. And this is my shoe for workout. I was doing my workout. That's my yoga mat there. But uh, yeah, guys. And yeah, this is all my setup right here. This is my lower outfits and these are my upper outfits this is my carry bag here where i put on my phones and all so this is my next phone samsung j7 max it's been five years using this it is retired now this doesn't work properly but it's still helping for recording some of my videos and yeah man this is this is the battery this is uh oh i guess i am giving camper tour all right guys <laughs> Never mind, I'll be giving my camper tour here in my DOV in the English channel. And I have uh, one of my audience or subscriber, I say, watching from Canada. I every time speak uh, Nepali here and sometimes Hindi and only a very mixed English. But today I decided uh, to put on like this all video here in an English language so that uh, um, my if if there is like some other audience they can understand like what's going on and what is here so this is a sack full of rice it is going to be over and this is uh the battery uh this is my what what is called i don't know this is called in uh, converter huh this is called converter here so i have a single bulb right there yeah this is this is how it works okay and so this is uh, my multiplug which i used to do the business as well i used to sell previously lots of multiplugs and uh, so yeah let, 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 i'll show you guys like what's outside here okay what's outside here this is going to be interesting i'm giving a tour here so this is my single stop gas here never mind this is pretty mess here because it's my cooking spot and I don't have enough water to clean every day because I have to take water from my neighbor's home and it's really hard going out there because it's about the privacy thing. Look at the surrounding guys. This is uh, one of the city here in eastern Nepal and check it out the house. It is, we consider two three story house owners as a big rich here in my country but uh, guy like me is a very poor and <laughs> okay I'm not uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever this is this is my cylinder here okay uh it gives the lpg gas here and the supplies fill this is five kgs uh which is uh which runs for one month and uh, i have to pay one thousand for just for like a gas of a cylinder here that is expensive damn bro and uh, so actually this is my camper outside i have been um 
parking this camper since from eight months. Now you can see the condition here. The grass is covered by the oh my god, this wheel is covered by the grass. And so I write a lots of things right here on board. This is my board practice. I am also preparing for educational channel in English and Hindi, so that's why I'm practicing. Never go throughout my ugly handwriting, although my friend says you have a pretty good handwriting. All right. And this is the front side of the camper uh, where I have a pedal here. Okay, this is the chain connected to the back wheel where I ride. But riding this badass thing is too heavy. And you can see the grill right here. It, it gives like sunlight and uh, also the air supply so that I don't feel heat or it, this will help to insulate for the insulation or insulate whatever. Okay, this is how it looks. Uh, and it has a five wheels. This is a pretty big structure and wheels. This doesn't have a No, no, no. This doesn't have engine. Okay. I'm sorry. This is like uh, a cheapest version of RC RC or conversion uh, van or This is a tiny home tiny house on wheels so, This is a Nepali version below poverty life <laughs> Risk people owning a vehicle and making okay on engine, but I have just this and There you can see the uh, I don't know how how What's this supply? I don't know but this is pretty big solar panel here Which is sufficient to charge that battery and that battery charge it uh, it converts in DC to AC and That's how my phone and uh, this bulb runs. Okay? And yeah, you can see and the smart decision what I made is right here It has a four wheels behind and one wheel in front. I keep traveling on this and I stay pretty temporarily in a city, okay? Oh boy, what is this? Oh, I thought my tire damaged. These all are pumps here, okay? These these all are flat, flat now. I have to um, I have to put on some air pump right here this you can see here anyway and uh, what i felt is like this is kind of heavy it's like more than 400 kgs okay and it is just a four more than 400 kgs and when i go inside i am approximately 60 to 65 kgs i haven't uh, measured my weight it's been a couple of months now i have to do my medical checkup okay and so what i did is uh it is pretty big on chassis, okay? This is the uh, iron frame. You can see the chassis right here. It is big structure. And what I did is I uplifted the whole damn camper. Uh, and it's on a uh, four pillar right here. You can see the stone. And this is one pillar there. This other uh, another pillar there. And I have uh, two more pillars in front side. Uh, so the, these pillars are helping to uplift the camper from ground so that this uh, this whole camper weight is not going to be pressured uh, for these wheels and this will be one these wheels will be working or on duty uh, while transferring one place to another place and also this one is uplifted here you can see it can move freely oh yeah yeah check it out man this is a cart and um, this is a cart this used to be a three-wheeler cart but i made it uh, in a five wheels and this is crazy so so this is where i uh, put on my clothes after wash uh, to be dried out and uh, i do not have a washroom i do not have water accessibility for water accessibility i go this house nearby so that no, another house the, their people are very kind they help me out with the uh, supply of water i take that gallon and go there and fill up the water and uh, for peeing, I also my pee jog, you know. I have this pee jog right here. So this this is when I pee and uh, I <laughs> I throw right just right here, okay. Uh, for, for peeing and for pooping and uh, washing myself, taking a bath or washing my clothes. There, right there. This house is a gas station, okay. Uh, gas station and uh, yeah. So it has a free access for water supply. It has a toilet for pooping and uh, it has a washroom section for washing clothes and uh, bathing. And this is a pretty big city here in the eastern uh, part of Nepal. But uh, 
but uh, I am approximately like uh, three, four kilometers away from the center of city uh, because in center of city at the, their point, you know, I'll never find a proper location to park my camper. And um, uh, the interesting design right here is uh, this is my pull-ups bar. Okay, I do the chin-ups here. I do some of the exercise and. Uh, uh, I <laughs> I tried writing sweet home. <laughs> All right, and uh, this is uh, this is the door side here. So this is how it works. Uh, I lock here and uh, I go for anywhere. I go for public vlogging. What I do for a living or how do I make money? So basically, uh, I have like pretty some of the uh, world records and Guinness world record titles which I perform and demonstrate uh, in school and colleges and school and colleges they pays me after my performance so what I perform is I pull vehicle from my eyes you can check it out uh, temper records or you can check it out like tempo with temper that's my daily vlogging but this is my Nepali channel but uh, it is uh, just for a private use but uh, I have some of the friends watching me so I'm just dedicating this video and about me uh, to you people especially the person who is from Canada I don't know if you're watching this video or not if you're watching this video I'll be so proud of proud of me myself this video will will never go worthless because I am filming for you only okay and these are the eggshells here uh, this is this is proper waste so I'll collect my waste and uh, this is a sack full of a waste here so every Monday uh, one of the waste truck comes here and I have to just fill up but it's been eight months and eight months waste is right here these are all just a plastic and yes last not the least but this is my crossfire yeah this is just a normal kid uh, bike uh, BMX okay but I named it crossfire and I also say this 17 lakh crossfire 17 lakh is a huge amount that is uh, 17 thousand dollars wow seventeen thousand dollars bike just for my satisfaction i'm telling that but uh, this bike helps me a lot man i don't have to walk walking speed and uh, traveling here on this bike uh, saves my more time and energy and while transferring this whole damn camper here i put on like i, I actually made a specifically rack for my crossfire i hang that thing here uh, on on here here and uh, right other here handle goes this side and the back seat goes right right here and this is how it is stuck and I I transfer my whole damn camper by pulling I do not have engine so this is how it looks underneath here uh, you can see and this is my dishwashing section okay I so that I don't have to come out and this this is made out of ply here the ply is pretty damaged it started getting um, decaying or like whatever just due to water and uh, I clean my dishes here the water goes right down here this is just uh, this is a decadable waste okay of vegetable onions and uh, just like that but plastics I always collect here uh, and uh, this this is underneath the storage area this is whole damn thing right here from here to almost you can see the totally wider front side so up to there it's been that's that okay it goes all the way up to there i mean okay oh okay you can see like this is my bed section and i have a two ply woods right here this this is a ply so what i do before sleeping is i just pull this thing it comes here and my height is i'm just a small tiny guy okay i'm not a white uh, white guy for six feet long I'm just like five six. I'm short. I'm I'm not short. I'm average, uh, according to my country's people's height. Okay, and you can see the rack here. Okay, so this uh, this rack is uh, just for drying out my wet clothes, and I do have a hanger. And okay, these are these are made of uh, this. Uh, what is called? This is a plain seat. It is a tin right here. Yeah, and yes, man, that's it. So if I have to sew this last year, then this is my soap box here. I have a washing soap and a bathing soap. And yeah, man, check it out. Check it out, dude. From this. Yeah, check it out. My camper. So this is where I live.
I am just loving my life. That's it, man. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this DOV. I don't know how I started uh, filming and giving tour about my camp over here, but it is, uh, you know, it's uh, it is just a jugad. What I say, this uh, I am not rich to afford uh, a vehicle, okay? But uh, I have like I I used my brain. I I bought a three wheeler cart and uh, modified into made it into five wheels this uh, this all i designed no one no one were helping me at the time everyone thought like this is a stupid idea that how would you leave and what would you do yeah, those assholes you know anyway all right guys all right thank you so much for watching this dov here on raza thapa superhuman yo peace out what do i say Bye-bye. See you on next. Ah.